Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Open XCOM Final Mod Pack. In the last episode we have returned from a mission full of Chthonites and we have uh, captured quite a few of them alive. One soldier and three engineers. So I guess we'll um, put some scientists or interrogators on these guys and uh, let them tell us some secrets. Okay, but before that we'll finish the fusion torch research and also we'll finish manufacturing the gauss tank okay so let's uh, fast forward time um, finish the tank that's okay and we'll try to manufacture probably well let's check if we have something new nothing here basic components also nothing new so i guess i would like to make some new craft yeah that's what i would like to do let's double check raven number five avalanche missiles and laser cannons let's send them to brazil okay so transfer brazil where are you raven number five and avalanche missiles all 17 of them transfer and we can do a new raven over here we basically want to at least one fighting craft in every base and we have enough alien alloys so far so let's do it It'll take two days no problem and our four new rookies have arrived so let's uh, rename them properly we need to resurrect dr zyman and the third curry and I also have two new guys which want to join us. So I'll um, pause the recording here and be right back. And we're back. So the third curry is back. Probably not so good reactions. Okay, firing accuracy. Very bad, but sounding strength is okay. And strength is okay as well. Then we have uh, Dr. Zyman. Dr. Zyman has bad bribery, good reactions, average firing accuracy, strength, yeah, could be better, but it's okay, psionic strength, average, yeah, pretty average soldier. And then we have two rookies, two newcomers, Mike002, Mike002, who has atrocious bravery, but excellent reactions and firing accuracy, then uh, pretty good strength for a rookie and excellent psionic strength so pretty good soldier i would say and last but not least is the assistant and he has bravery 10 as well but uh, don't worry it's not important at all reactions 40 is fine firing accuracy 51 is fine as well strength is excellent and psionic strength is also decent so i would say also better than average soldier okay i have also put some new guys on the sky marshal so next mission will be uh, these guys grimwit to sandro plus the two new rookies of course just like always okay so researching fusion torch still manufacturing raven uh, let me actually check the equipment. Raven 4 is laser cannon and avalanche missiles. And you have 17 avalanche missiles. That will be enough. Down under is stingray and cannon. That's not good. So we'll need to send some stuff there. Um, to down under. Let's transfer. I think I have one more laser cannon, right? Yeah, let's transfer one. Okay, I think that's fine. And the last one was in Canada, right? They have avalanche and stingrays. How many avalanche missiles do you have? Seven. So purchase a few more like that and you'll get also one laser cannon. Transfer to down under one laser cannon transfer that 
We'll need a few more laser cannons, but uh, that can wait a little bit. Okay, avalanche in Brazil, that's fine. Laser cannons have arrived, let's equip them right now. Laser cannon, and also over here, instead of the stingray. Did I just send it to the same base? I probably did. <laughs> Uh, cannon, laser cannon, yes, I sent it to the same base. Don't worry, Canada, you'll get it very soon. Oh, new scientists, excellent. So let's put some research on... You know what? On the main topic, we'll have hundreds of scientists, and on the side topics, we'll have 50. So corpses, here we go. Okay, let's uh, wait for that laser cannon, excellent, and equip it finally. Very nice. Production of Raven is finished. We'll need some more uh, laser cannons. Let's do another four. Good. Avalanche missiles have arrived. Laser weapons were created. Okay, craft ammunition. So laser weapons don't need any ammunition. Good to know. So what else can we do? I don't need any more weapons. I don't need any personal armor anymore. Um, we don't have any of the... Although we do have personal armor on MIB Commander Corps. However, we don't have any better armor yet. Okay, I'll, I'll keep that like it is, as it is. And we need another craft, but uh, we also need some more uh, alien alloys, because we have only very little. So, do a lot, please. Uh, not in Canada. In the main base, we'll uh, equip them with, um, hmm, with a laser cannon, or maybe with a gauss cannon. Yeah, let's put a gauss cannon on this one. For a change and I want some more avalanche launchers and missiles let's take or maybe not yeah well 1 and 11 will do for now but I need to sell a lot of junk as well so um, I'll pause the recording and be right back and we're back I'm selling stuff for over 5 million which is uh, quite nice we have a lot of money again and hopefully some space, so stores, yeah, we have a little bit. Maybe I should build just one more general stores. Wow, <laughs> it's getting uh, pretty full. Let's do it here. Okay, then, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we are researching and manufacturing. So let's uh, fast forward time. Fusion Torch is finished, excellent. The Fusion Torch uses a matter-antimatter reaction to create enormously powerful plasma jets. If close enough, the deeply penetrating plasma jet cuts through the target, melting it within seconds. Even the strongest armor plates and UFO hulls are no match for this device. However, it is only effective at close range and needs a separate power cell. Oh yeah, okay, so we need a power cell as well. Let's do that. That's nice. Let's uh, allocate manufacturing. I think that's uh, equipment. No. Is it a weapon? Yeah, fusion torch is categorized as weapon. I would categorize it as uh, equipment. And let's do... Let's do four. Yeah, that will be fine. Fast forward time. Selatid Corpse is finished, contains a small biomechanical device, and so on and so on, nothing new. Let's uh, continue with the Corpse of Silakoid, where are you? Right here. Okay, that's fine. Avalanche missiles in Egypt, so let's put them on, like this, perfect. Fusion Torch Power Cell is finished as well. This high energy power cell is needed to operate the Fusion Torch. It provides 
enough energy for five plasma jets and plasma beam damage of 200. So cuts basically through everything. Okay, now what else? We still haven't researched the Illyrium. I guess that will be a prerequisite for many things. So um, let's finally research that and allocate manufacturing on ammunition, fusion torch power cell, alloys and Illyrium. So we have four torches. Let's do 12 power cells. Okay, we have 72 alloys. So for now, Stop doing that and concentrate more on the fusion torches and power cells. Like this, and after we're finished with that, we'll do another craft. Actually, these are pretty easy to manufacture. Let's do something like this. Okay, about one and a half days. And we have UFO 38, very small. Let's have a look, it's in South Africa. We have actually Raven number 5 there, so let's go and shoot it down. It might be this flyby mission. Hard to say. But if it is, they will not land. And we don't care about very smalls anyway. Okay, that's done. Let's help them with uh, fusion torches and uh, finish the alien alloys. Whoops, not like that. With everybody. One hour. And let's do another craft. Actually, <laughs> I forgot to move this one, right? So we need one in Hawaii. It's okay, you have avalanche missiles and gauss cannons, okay. So transfer to Hawaii. And this will probably be another long episode. I'm recording 12 minutes of base maintenance and we definitely want to see some action as well. So Raven 6 with avalanche missiles and uh, they have a gauss cannon. So let's uh, send them also some of these let's say eight transfer in hawaii we also want to purchase more avalanche missiles let's say 10 and over here we can manufacture another craft so one more raven everybody on the project excellent and let's fast forward time large storage facility at madagascar will probably move some stuff there wow looks really cool how much capacity does it have 275 that's like as much as we have over here in the main base right in the main base we have one two three three stores each i guess gives us 50 maybe and then hangars and the large living quarters could give us some more not sure exactly how it works but uh, seems okay seems okay okay this will also be finished soon so let's go ahead hawaii is now equipped with raven 6 that's okay silicoid corpse the core of the creature is extremely hot and seems to be the basis for a digestive system Tremendous power and speed, but uh, not very dangerous, actually. Okay, then uh, since we have researched the corpses already, let's continue with those uh, Tonite engineers. They must be able to tell us something. Hangar at Madagascar is finished. That's fine. Continue with uh, the second one. And maybe I should build another large storage facility. How expensive are they? One million. Nah, I guess I will keep the money. I will keep the money. It will take 20 more hours. Okay, large radio system is finished there as well. 
So now we finally have the full coverage, also South Africa and Indian Ocean and uh, the last part of uh, Antarctica. So nothing should ever escape us again. Yeah, well, we need uh, faster craft, that is for sure, but uh, at least the radar coverage is very good. Okay, and uh, we are building just general stores and one more hangar. Good. Next, avalanche missiles, that's fine. A Raven is finished. Wow, this uh, really goes fast. Let's uh, do more alien alloys. We have a lot of Illyrium, but we somehow don't have enough alien alloys for everything we need. Raven number 7, you'll get another laser cannon. And you know what? You'll get a Gauss cannon as well, just because I don't want to uh, purchase those uh, avalanche missiles. They take so much space. And for now, that's good. We have a craft in every base except for Antarctica and Madagascar. We'll... Um... Hmm. You know what? Let's let's do this as well. Antarctica. How much does it actually cost? Um, base information monthly costs. The Ravens cost a quarter of a million. Okay, our income and maintenance is more or less balanced now. So I will probably I will not do another craft. We do have how many seven of them? No, we actually should have only six, right? One, two. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, we do have six. So why is this one called Raven 7? <laughs> so this one Raven 7, Raven 4, Raven 2, 1, 5, 6. Okay, we are missing number 3. I guess I sold it when we were short on money earlier. Okay, no problem. Uh, manufacturing alien alloys, researching other stuff. Let's uh, finally get some action. Small, very low, pretty slow. Uh, where are you going? Northwest? I guess we can shoot you down. Why not? Raven 1. I don't know if it's a terror mission or a flyby. Oh! Oh! What is that? It's not supposed to be golden. Well, now I'm confused. What are you? Oh, that's the... That's the... That's the... Um, I know what it is. It's the... Alien... Diplomacy mission. Oh, we definitely need to... Shoot these guys down. Over... Over ground. Come on. No? Oh, come on, don't tell me, don't tell me you're not gonna... Well, if they are... Oh, that's stupid. I really, really wanted them to go over land and then... So that I can shoot them down and go on the mission. Because this mission is really, really rare. Like, 1% chance to get them. And I so much want to fight them. And show them to you. Please land. Or please go over land somewhere. Okay. Okay. Very close. Very close. Yes. Now we have them. Okay. Well. Um, the problem is. <laughs> it is a very. Very difficult mission. And. Um. I will not be able to finish this, finish it in this episode. So, um, you know what? What we will do is we will wait for the day, another day to come, and we'll send our troops there just to show you how difficult this mission is. And we'll do it for real in the next episode. Yeah, that's what we will do, exactly. Okay, so... Five minutes, let's wait a little bit. Oh, I completely forgot about this diplomacy mission. 
uh, almost missed them. That would be really, really a shame. Illyrium 115 is finished. This element has the unusual property of generating antimatter power when bombarded with certain particles. This creature this creates gravity waves and other forms of energy. It is not naturally found in our solar system and cannot be reproduced. Okay. And now, oh, finally, finally we can do the alien grenade. Okay, so that's what I was missing. And what is a Stormlands missile? Hmm. I'm pretty curious about that. Illyrium bombs, I guess, would be something for a small launcher. Not sure if they stun or explode, but I definitely want the alien grenade. That was long overdue. Where are you? Alien grenade. 100 people on that. Perfect. Let's uh, continue a little bit more. Okay, like this. Let's uh, save it here as alien diplomacy crashed. I'm saving it because I, I really want to keep the saves. You know, this mission is really, really rare and uh, maybe also buggy. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, if I have the saves, I can send them uh, to the developers to, to fix them. Okay. But uh, let's go there just because we can and um, we'll definitely lose. <laughs> I can tell you that. Um, we'll need a lot better squad than uh, just a random people here. Although you have some... One, two, three, four of you are pretty psi resistant, so you might survive a first turn. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's uh, try this. I did save, right? Yes, I did. So, let's go there. Just have a sneak peek into what is waiting for us in the next episode. Uh, let's click OK. And look at this. A golden UFO. A golden one. And it is full of things which we can't see yet. Ouch! No! No! <laughs> oh, we didn't even see them. We didn't even see them. Where are they? And what are they? Oh, now we can see one. Surprise, surprise. It is somebody in the shadows. Wow. Well, I guess uh, this is a perfect cliffhanger, isn't it? <laughs> we have a golden UFO. Guys who are shooting at us from where we cannot see and we have one mysterious alien there in the shadows and that's where I will end the mission uh, and uh, leave you in the darkness leave you in the darkness <laughs> okay so um, let's uh, load alien diplomacy crashed and save it as uh, Part 52 and and when we come back we are going to do this for real and it will be one difficult mission let me tell you that till then bye bye <laughs>